20 young people from Benin were selected from over 220 nominations by the France Media Monde Academy. And choosing a winner from Benin didn't happen by chance. Benin is the first country to have a sovereign conference, multi-party elections and a completely open media. Traces of it can still be seen today. It's an extremely vibrant press. Shortly before the award ceremony, we followed a team in the field during a radio exercise in Ouida, a historical city made infamous by its role during the slave trade. Parfait is the only female technician in the competition. Generally in Benin, we don't care much about atmosphere, but if you move, you should change the ambience so listeners can live what you're experiencing. The final step is putting theory to practice, creating a good visual image, using sound and gathering information. These candidates are reporting on conversations between the descendants of slaves and slave traders. I'll do a radio report, they'll be better than a TV report because even by just listening we'll be able to imagine everything, picture everything and live everything with me through my report. 31-year-old Sissin Gudu has in any case won over the jury. The young woman is a journalist on Benin Public Radio and was rewarded for her reporting on the dialogue between widows who oppose levirate marriages and their family-in-law. On the technical side is 22-year-old Didier Guédou. He's a sound technician at the press group Eden TV Diaspora FM. The jury rewarded his mastery of sound on a report called Slavery and After. It's a new adventure in my career, a fresh start. Highly qualified professionals who can still learn and be themselves. For us, it is a great pride and a great joy to remember them vividly. The winners will spend one month in Paris, first in the Africa service of RFI Afrique, followed by a training course in reputed institutions in the French capital.